Losing B. Oh, bro, why is this shit so loud as fuck, bro? Taking B. Oh, my ears are fucking really deaf, dude. Authorizing UAV mission. What is this guy doing?
bruh. I'll try this uh, face-off mode. Probably not gonna have too much fun, but. Is this supposed to be in Nuketown, bro? Shaky shots. Trying to aim for the head, bro. Losing 
fuckwit smashed our every step. Damn it, Stand down, you need to push harder off. next time. Uh oh, Skedios! Oh my god! <laughs> uh oh, Skedios! Ooh. This is a fucking... It's about my acid. What is this? The names last like two minutes, bro. some regular hardcore because that's
core hard point. Secure the objective. Hard point is secure. Hardpoint identified. Hardpoint is active. Hardpoint locked down. Are you following me? Hostiles have captured the hardpoint. Point active. Packet versus insane, man. Give me on that fiber already. Oh, I'm gonna fall to Head marker, excuse me. Identified. Trophy's 
That's not a headshot, bro. Hardpoint active. Hardpoint down. Is <laughs> he on? Ah, ghost on, but I guess. This guy's still on the Dodgers. Was he on that shit in 2019? Fuck C Ben for the Dodgers, dude. <laughs> Not much time left. Put this to bed. Hard point identified.
domination. Use of deadly force has been approved. Locking down Charlie. Taking Bravo underway. Long run. Took one out. Securing Catch zone. Away. Taking C. Charlie secured. Oh. Securing B. Locking down the area. Watch my back. The lead is on. Losing Bravo. Standing stun. Losing B. UAV established overhead. Sniper's dead. Taking Bravo oh, underway. That's a kill. Controlling Bravo. Oh, yeah.
Taking aid. Gray authorizing watchdog helo cast. Tech on. Gray requesting Hellstorm launch. Hellstorm missile away. Arrow station entering AOR. Thank you. Alright, dude. Bring it in recon. UAV mission timeline fifty percent expended. Controlling Garbo. Not least. Mission timeline expired. UAV RTV. Taking Alpha. They're Taking Bravo underway. Losing Charlie. Taking B.
Ryan Brazier. Red Sox legend. In the bullpen. Forty eight fucking level. That was not a strike. Sheesh, bro. Yankees are going out sad, man. No runs. This one a game, bro. Give yourself a chance, man. <laughs> J money. Why am I getting all aims because he's sitting in the bush? Really? That's a hit marker.
That was a really the smartest thing you've done, huh? Dude, shut the fuck up. Why are you even talking? Let's get a headshot hit marker. Headshot hit marker, you gotta be kidding me. Nice taps. Hit marker, dude. No way. Get 
Dude, what is that nade hitting me? How? Hell no. Fuck this man. I had to watch paint dry.
so. Capture the objective. And bison, bro. The two hit markers is fucking wild, bro. I choked, bro. Fuck. Yeah. 
Is that our point is secure?
Give me a UAV. Attached to hardpoint. Hardpoint locked down. Hardpoint active. Get a CUAV on station above. Hardpoint is secure. It's just hit markers. Every fucking AR using hardcore gets hit markers. center field going back is Hayes turning looking and that <laughs> oh, that's a shot.
Did I put a suppressor on this one? I pre fired him, you're telling me I don't hit him.
Wow, I can't even spawn in the move. Holy shit. What? They've taken the lead. Reclaim the lead. Enemy UAV inbound. We've taken the lead. Stay on task. Hostile counter UAV established above. Hostile RCXD in your AO. We claim the advantage. Now hold it. We're falling behind, Crimson. <laughs> this guy, look at this fucking loser.
Bueno, ahora, bueno. Pero ahora con un agua. ¿A quién va a batear? Okay, the former Red Sox player hitting a home run. Get on base over Han Soto, tie the game. Hello? Jesus Christ, dude. What? We're just pump stopping, right? 30 fucking minutes of talking to not even your girl, bro? That's crazy. Yeah, he has some updates, bro. <laughs> updates? Yes. Holy fuck. Wait, are, wait, are we just playing pubs, right? You wanna play CMG? Uh, not for a CMG Whoa, if you want. What? <laughs> playing pubs? Wait, what? You can't talk. Jesus Christ, wait. at least like a hello, bro. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. It's... Hello. <laughs> Crazy. So what? You just want to play pubs or you want to play CMG? I'm down for whatever. I'm just grinding some camos. I can't also, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. You have any gun? Oh no, you're just doing all the headshots, huh? Yeah. Oh, you have to do launchers too as well? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Dude, what? Damn, Dodgers up 3 yo. Sheesh. They are? Oh, they won? Yeah. Teammate just shot me in the back. Let's see. <clears throat> What, what, what was the score today? Uh, two to I four. I saw Freddie Freeman hit a home run. It was four zero, but then Verdugo hit a home run, like back when they're about yeah. to lose. But yeah. All right, teammate, just laced you. Flash. All right, bud. Wow, 
Wow. Holy. Soon. I think this guy's soon. I'm gonna map glitch again. He is again? Yeah. I think so. I'm in two. What's his name? What guy? Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> Oh my... Is it monkey? Yeah, no, actually no, it's not monkey. Bucko. Payback stings, eh, Lambo? Using grenade launchers and their fucking guns. <laughs> is that a is that a something for a camel? No, I don't think so. Pillar just. See this guy, bro. This guy under the map right here on the UAV? Might be tripping. This guy in the water. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, the guy. No, the guy. I think he's under the map. Monkey? But he's 12 and 9. I don't know. Deep right 
backfield. Betts goes back at the trick at the wall and gone. Alex Verdugo. But the Yankees down to their last out. Connects on a two-run home run. Mm. Yeah, this one. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh wait a minute! Oh shit! Verdugo! Let's go! Oh. Yes! Oh my god! You know how like sometimes like the no stock it has no cons or anything like that? Oh. Is that a bug? I don't think so. It was like an beta too. Let's go! Four to two? Alright, I mean, labor get home for Soto? Right there, he left the right there. Let's see. He left the right there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Sam Turret. Red card is so bad, bro. Terrible. Yeah, it's dog shit. I don't like played. protocol either. I'd rather play protocol over red card. But yeah, no, protocol still. Uh, Paolo had 55 points. Eee, she did? I saw you like 37 yeah. and a half or something. Yeah. 37 points? Per, yeah, uh, yeah. So I locked that shit in on sleeper. <laughs> Holy moly, that's crazy. Who did they play? Pacers, right? Uh, Pacers. Yeah, they played the Pacers. Damn. Tyrese had 32.5. Should I lock in? He plays the Celtics next and then the Pelicans. Uh, He's projected to have 25 today, so. Um, yeah, 32 points? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I know Celtics defense. I mean, he's playing against Drew Holiday. His defense is good. Yeah. Pelicans have... I don't even know who their defense is, though, so... I swear this is a team deathmatch. I don't know what. Okay, but... 32, what? Thir how, like, 32 total points? Or... No, like the... 32 the fantasy, fantasy points. points. Fantasy points. And he's projected out how many again? 25, 22? 25. 25? Yeah. Um, I don't really... I mean... Yeah, I don't... I don't know, whatever you think. Cause he had like... He had like 0 point... Like 0 for 9 for shooting. And when he had like 25 last week and then... Next game he drops like 7 points or some shit. I was like, dude... <laughs> Not a headshot. Why is this guy team kill? You fucking faggot, dude. Jesus. What's this guy's problem, bro? You fucking loser. I'm telling team killing you, bitch. Which one? Which guy? Kristen. Fucking dumb fuck. Kristen. <laughs> I was literally, he like purposely did it too. I didn't even do anything to him. Loki, like these bodies be blending in, I swear. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Especially when like they're laying down sideways or whatever. It looks yeah. like I don't even know. Like, it's... What is that? Bullet rag, bro? Wow. 
Dude, what? That Shuffer just killed me, nice. Dude, they're just camping right there, bro. Holy shit, I'm flash. I can't see anything. Just waiting for me to come out. Somebody else train, wow. He's just in there, your little... Oh. 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 What? Did you disconnected? Yeah. Let's play some core, bro. Blah. Fuck that shit. Blah. <clears throat> Are you in uh, Black Ops? Yeah. Or... It's, it's... Oh, you are up there. Do you want to say Monday? They've been releasing the schedule hella late, I feel like. Subsonic, yes, sir. Oh, you work on Halloween? Oh, yeah. You do anything after? No. No. Are you doing anything? Op? No. You want to pull? Yeah, sure. God, bro. God, God bro. Me home. <laughs> Halloween party or? I guess Saturday Halloween party, late Halloween party if you want. OP. <laughs> When's he leaving? Friday. Stunned and I die off of a freaking nade off rip. God. Hey, bro. Oh, dog. <laughs> oh, what's up? Tell me he fucking stemmed. Let me see this kill count. Yeah, he stemmed. Dude. 
Sensi play on again. 8866. Oh, 88. Should I boost? Turn up to 77. First reference. Up to you. Losing Bravo. Tacom, I need eyes overhead. Did he can see me? What the fuck are these fucking sweats doing? Losing B. What's that timing? The guns just have so much recoil this year. Yeah, low key. Every gun, dude. Losing Please don't kill me. Oh, I might need to put on flag jacket, goddamn. Impact grenade? What the fuck is that, dude? Dude, why is he on A? I'm spawning parallel. Losing A. Losing B. Hi, bud. Please don't call me. Uh. 
Snaking not really a thing in this game. Uh, I haven't seen it too much, but probably still is. What's that Armento? It's Armento on the tank. How come you don't turn that off? I don't know. Turn mine off. Oh, ski, ski. Where are you going, buddy? One over the tank. What about you? Yup. See ya. Dude, I love the slide. Oh. You're so lucky. Sucks. Holy moly. My bone. We fight. However, Verdugo. I can't wait to watch. Jimmy World Series Jimmy have been boring without the Astros. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot, bro. The Astros actually are so annoying. Yeah. Let's see. Verdugo. Verdugo. This team doesn't stop. The PP9 class. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We fight. We fight. That's true. We fight. 
Welcome, LA. You ever seen a little fortitude before? Bernie, your team's down three nothing. You think do you think they have it in it? Well, I like what we did there. Came back, cut the lead in half in the ninth inning. Tell you what didn't happen. We didn't see the first World Series shutout since 03. Let's clip it a day. That's just a history saving Homer. Oh, do I have the Oh, I do have the model L. W. Oh. You like this map? Insight. Yeah. Game switch barrel. How mad would Dodgers fans be if they chipped a 3 0 lead? That would be insane. It's only happened, it has happened once in 2004. The Red Sox did it to the Yankees, surprisingly, in all the teams. Yankees did it to the Red Sox? The Red Sox did it to the Yankees. <laughs> oh, Red Sox did it to the Yankees. Uh, they took a 3 0 lead. More opportunities for them to come in, to come in and eat. <laughs> sure. Alright, bro. Brian is actually so passionate about. Yeah, they're not 3 2, which is funny, so I wonder if he's gonna show up to his shifts. <laughs> I know, huh? Holy. Wait, he said if they're up, what? He said if the Yankees are down like 3 1, like he's not gonna. He oh. might call out. I was like, oh, they're not 3 0, so. That's insane. <laughs> The Model L kind of fries, holy. Isn't that the Med AR? Yeah. Wow, I suck. I stopped shooting. You're so lucky I was weak, bro. Another nade. Attack off, requesting recon overhead. UAV fuel check fifty percent. Really? Rally. Enemy RCXD detected. Dude, really? That's freaking ours. No.
Stem applied, stem applied. Where are they at? What are these guys doing? They're all in the building right there? Jesus. Fries, holy. <laughs> what do you think? ARs are better than subs or in this uh, game? Probably. These guys are shooting each other on the same team. <laughs> Jeez. No. Oh, Joker. Ooh. Points. Ooh. OT win, 40 points, 10 rebounds, 2 blocks. Oh. Too many sleeper points, that is. Forty one. Should I lock that in? <laughs> One points. I don't. I've never played the uh, like fantasy points or whatever. So I don't know. I've also never even played sleeper. Jeez. 
Did Westbrook have any points? Let's see. Oh, Westbrook had three, three for seven, nine points. Nice. Progress. <laughs> Let's try this uh, face off mode. Oh, it's uh, ergonomic. Holy smokes, gonna get this level, level, level 36. Last mag 2. I want to get the Kepler Kepler Microflex. I need to get my AS Val to level five. <laughs> All these attachments, bro. Is this hardcore or regular? Regular. But that guy was hella small, bro. I know. Play. It's probably just shocking people. Love this map. <laughs> Face off domination. Capture the objective. Watch it. Sniper out. Oh, shocking. Wait, how did he just? Yep, shotgun. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what? You can go over the top? That's insane. Wait, what? I didn't even know you could go over that railing. That's sick. I just have kill streak on this map, or this game mode. Try to shock on me again. Let me watch you. Wow. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, Stem shot, bro. What am I doing? What's up? Let me use stem shot, bro. What am I doing? At least what's the reason? <sighs> Is that stun? No way. Securing alpha. 
This little fucking loser, dude. Stop hardening me into the fucking smallest map. Oh, it's a shotgun person. Oh, it's Dog using a shotgun and I still have more kills than this fucking dude. Securing zone A. Sniper dead. Come out now. Controlling Bravo. Turn out. Got you. Chill off the map, bro. There's no way. One shot. Teammate put a bowl into him, bro. Spawning in. Alright. Dude, that one shot shotgun is crazy from that range. I've been proof. Okay. Okay. How does he not have at least 60 kills when he's using a shotgun? You little fucking loser. Flash out of my mind, holy double flash. Holy three flashes. My auto mantle. Oh my. Not, my, not even my auto mantle. I just mantle over the freaking ledge. <laughs> and I wanted to stay on top, but I mantle over it. Tell me about it. <sighs> oh, it's this guy with the MP5. <clears throat> Alright, let's hit the field. Next, this is Pinstripe Territory. Welcome. Welcome back everybody, welcome back. Wish I was broadcasting under better circumstances. Isn't it weird that the Yankees always rally in the ninth inning when the depth is just a little bit too big for it to matter. If it was 2 nothing, Verdugo would not have hit that home run. I promise you. This was not a 10-run blowout, but somehow it felt like a total... Yeah, I'll, uh, it's going to be the stupid... Have you played that uh, off-brand Newtown map? First inning, hmm. or what? the Yankees not getting a hit until the fifth inning, Bart Smith done. Oh, two two this one. We'll talk about him. No, we're not playing this shit, no. Not scoring until the ninth inning. Just a pathetic performance from the Yankees. There's this concept called a living funeral. Where when someone knows they're about to die, they'll have a little gathering and they'll say goodbye to everybody. I've been to a couple of them. This is what tonight's podcast feels like, honestly. It feels like we're on death row and the warden ain't calling. Neither is the governor. Yankees are dead men walking. This is the part of the zombie movie where the character that we've been watching all along 
reveals that they've got a bite mark on their shoulder and you know it's only a matter of time before they either turn into a zombie or someone puts one between their eyes and puts them out of their misery. That's where we are. If you're here for a high energy rant tonight, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Just, get on. Just a pathetic, get photo, deflating loss. For Scotty the Barnes and uh, Russ West, 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 uh, Scuffle. I know there were some bad calls tonight. Scotty Barnes is a clown. That guy's actually. This one is on the Yankees yeah. brand of baseball, and on their roster construction, on their coaching. Oh. High point of the evening of the first World Series game in the Bronx in 15 years was Bob Shepard's voice echoing through Yankee Stadium to announce Derek Jeter for the first pitch. That gave me goosebumps. He <laughs> got the special that strength. Was all right. All downhill. Jesus. All downhill. <clears throat> Even Fat Joe sucked tonight. Unfortunately, the Yankees Hard find themselves in a do-or-die situation. Secure the objective. A situation that no one has come back from, and yes, we know who that is. Awesome the Hard and... If it's cool with you guys, I'm just going to be honest with you about what's going to happen. The Yankees are going to lose this World Series. I don't think that they're even going to get back for a while either. Saw me. It all. What the hell? When Nestor Cortez came in to pitch in game one instead of Tim Hill. That blew the Yankees' momentum. It opened the door for the Dodgers, allowed them to take momentum and they haven't given it up because they're a better baseball team. And we'll talk more about that too, but I know that people are saying it's over in the chat. Um, and while it's ran in front of a name. Over, the Dodgers still have to win one more game. And the Yankees have won four in a row many times this year. It feels like a fait accompli at this point. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the mismatch that we saw in 2022 against the Astros. And that series ended in a sweep as well. But this is baseball, and anything can happen. And yes, the Red Sox did it 20 years ago this year. It would be great to exercise those, those demons 20 years later for the, those of us who lived through it. But this team doesn't have the spirit that that team had. You know, that, that team had guys who talked the talk but also walked the walk. Kevin Millar, Kurt Schilling. David what? Williams, the Tonto. He doesn't have that kind of fun playing baseball like the 04 Red Sox did. I don't sense in any way the tenacity that it's going to take to come back from a 3 nothing deficit from this team. No tenacity whatsoever. And very little baseball skill. A ton of sloppy baseball in this postseason. Another atrocious send at third base Dude. from Luis Rojas to send Stan. The guy is slower than molasses. <laughs> Is that not a headshot? Hello? Has been amazing this offseason, this postseason. He's been killing the ball. He had two hits tonight. But you can't oh my God. see him. He wasn't at third base yet when Teoscar Hernandez was fielding the ball in left field. And Rojas sent him. Is. Another night of goose eggs for Aaron Judge, who is now hitting 140 with a 580 OPS in the postseason. And he is 1 for 12 in the World Series. He's having a World Series that people will never forgive him for if the Yankees don't win one during his career. Even if they do win one, people will say, well, we should have had two, but Judge went belly up in the biggest spot. That's what we're looking at right now. And you saw the standing ovation. Did not work. Did not work. You can't hit a double with a standing ovation. Team shot. You can't hit a slider put outside with a standing ovation. <clears throat> and the Dodgers just showed what a top flight organization should look like. A rich organization that can spend what? big on big name players but also have a mix of real baseball players, something of which the Yankees have very few of. Over 2,000 in the chat, reminder to like and subscribe. Uh. We're gonna talk about Clark Schmidt for a second, and then we're gonna talk about this mismatch. Won't take long to talk about Clark Schmidt's outing because it didn't last very long. I really thought he would be better tonight. He almost never, ever gets hit hard. 
He does. He has the type of general disposition where oh. you feel like he wouldn't be affected by pressure. But he just couldn't command the baseball tonight. Four walks, 68 pitches, a home run, two hits, and three earned runs in two and two thirds innings. He looked awful right out of the gate. Walked Otani on four pitches to lead off the game. Otani was swinging with one arm tonight. Nothing close. Two batters later. One, two, Freddie's coming for you. That man sucks. Two run shot by Freddie Freeman. Second inning wasn't bad. Third inning, he was laboring. He gave up a run on a bloop single by Mookie Betts. And before he knew it, Boone yanked it. And in came Mark Leiter. Mark Leiter didn't pitch back. But Clark Schmidt did not have it tonight. <laughs> and one thing has become clear. This has been a mismatch. I don't think they can beat this Dodgers team four games in a row. Not the way these two teams are playing right now. The disparity between these two organizations couldn't be any more clear. The Dodgers hitters are capitalizing on mistakes. They swing aggressively when the situation Dude. in the count calls for it. They run the bases aggressively, but in a smart way. They catch the baseball. They take good routes in the outfield. They hit the cutoff man. They get hits they with the uh, position. And they take what the pitcher gives them instead of always going for the home run. <laughs> the Yankees did none of those things. None of those things. And... They constantly get beat by the little things, which was pointed out to us all night long, ad nauseum, from John Smoltz, who's still ticked off about 96, you can tell, and 99. But, you know, it comes down to the moves from the manager, the coaching staff, you know, sending John Carlo, pulling uh, Cole after 88 pitches the other night, going to Nestor instead of Tim Hill. Joel Sherman had a great point. Oh yeah, yeah, it's probably right next to this dude. Run on contact. I know he had a home run tonight. He's one of the only pieces of offense. But when he hits the ball, he doesn't run it out at all, ever. And the fact that he's making outs doesn't matter. It's the World Series. What are you saving it for? The offense. But run. Joel Sherman had a great point. Verdugo continues to not run on contact. I know he had a home run tonight. He's one of the only pieces of offense. But when he hits the ball, he doesn't run it out at all, ever. And the fact that he's making outs doesn't matter. It's the World Series. What are you saving it for? It's the World Series. If these aren't big enough Dude. games to get you to run hard, what are you even doing putting on a uniform? I thought that was a great point by Joel Sherman. The inability of Glaber Torres to stay focused in game one, trying to make the fancy pick instead of knocking it down and smothering the baseball like you're taught in Little League. Keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep it in front of you. These are the things that go unnoticed if you do them right. But when you do them wrong, they're huge. Rojas, does he even know the stop sign? Is he, is he worried that somebody's going to think that him putting his hands up like that is going to mean the high five, high ten, whatever? I don't know how many guys we've seen thrown out at home this year, but it feels like it happens almost every night. Am I wrong about that? This has just been such a disappointing series. I feel like Michael Spinks fans must have felt when they paid pay-per-view or, or, or you know revenue uh, uh, or, or uh, venue prices to go watch him fight Mike Tyson in the 80s. Michael Spinks, for those of you who don't know, came into oh. that fight 31 and 0 he had never been knocked down in a fight and then Tyson knocked him down twice including a knockout oh. in the first 90 seconds of the fight or so I expected a better effort from the Yankees I expected a clash of the Titans but when they're not mashing home runs they're just not good at baseball they're not good at baseball and they can't beat a team that is Jazz Chisholm has been all talk you put him in front of a camera he runs his mouth. He is now hitting 170 in the postseason with a 470. How's he behind, bro? OPS. Yeah, he had a couple hits in game one, but he has disappeared. Austin Wells, another perfect example of the Yankees' way, trying to draw walks every time at bat. He thinks he's got an eye like Juan Soto. He doesn't. He doesn't. 
Dude, I'm just spawning in. Oh my god. Holy smokes, I'm spawning in front of people. <laughs> The definition of a strike is not swinging at a hittable pitch. And the Yankees are far too concerned... A stupid guy is still doing his little gun pull animation. I'm dying. Holy. How about being aggressive? How about swinging the bat, dude? With two strikes, there are pitches that are too close to take. I don't know if they teach that in the minor leagues with the Yankees. Now, Volpe, he swings at pitches that are nowhere close. Nowhere close. You call up the Martian, you can't even play him in the postseason because he can't catch a freaking fly ball. What is going on with this organization? We should not be shocked that they're down 3 nothing in the series. And I told you what I think is going to happen. We're going to have to watch the Dodgers celebrate in the Bronx either tomorrow Jesus or Christ, bro. Before we... Take Jesus time, Christ. <laughs> take a look at, uh, game four, look Dude, some I'm literally... He just... Uh, uh, Peter Van Dusen says, Permission to cry. You can cry. Oh my god, I'm walking out my spawn and I'm dying. Boone has never won a series outside the central. That's funny. You're right. Evil Monkey says, As far as the season goes... The running game has been terrible all season. How many players have gotten thrown out because a third base coach is incompetent? Yes, yes. Wow, that guy's crazy. <laughs> That's the run sound in Yankee Stadium. Something we should have heard more this year. But Holy, 15 and 47. Jared Hood says, did I wait 15 That guy got fried. Swept, embarrassing, pathetic. <laughs> John Falsetta says, series ended when Boone pulled Cole. And 80's popping off. off. I know he did. Wait, what? Bill says thanks for all the recaps. Season is over. I've got at least one more recap. I'll be here. I'll be here. I'm hoping to be here four more times. If we get four more games and they lose in seven, I won't even complain about it because it'll be a great all-time series. Just to force a game seven. But the way this team is playing and the brand of baseball that they've chosen to play, chosen to teach, I don't think they need to go. I don't think they can beat them. And the Dodgers can be better next year. Franklin says thanks for an amazing year. You're an awesome podcaster. Appreciate that. The Yanks need a complete rebuild. Too bad it's not going to happen with Howard. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. That's absolutely. what they do. Run the bases like drunk. Michaud says also the general manager makes deals at the trade deadline without fearing any repercussions because he has balls. Fire because... I don't think that makes sense. I think that's get that backwards. Um, fire Cashman, he says. You know, we picked up Mark Leiter and Jazz Chisholm at the deadline. Chisholm was a pretty good regular season move. Well, Mark Leiter has pitched pretty good in the postseason, 2.25 mm -mm 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 but he was originally left off the postseason roster. Meanwhile, Dodgers went and got Jack Flaherty, Michael Kopech, Tommy Edmond. All of those guys killing us in this series. Killing us. Steven hey. Benevento says... Win or not, they got to sign Juan Soto and start the rebuild, fire Boone and the rest of the coaching staff. Amen. <sighs> I think this team needs a ground-up build, rebuild. But here's the thing. Even if you do that, even if you do that, our captain still can't hit the postseason. Our captain folds like a cheap suit in the postseason. I didn't think I'd be saying those words. In fact... A week ago, if you said those words to me, I was an ad, ah, he'll come around. Nope. He's not going to come around, folks. And, and actually, I take that back. Let's say the Yankees are down 10 runs in the seventh inning tomorrow, and Judge has two at-bats left, probably hit two home runs. That's, that's what's going to happen. Mark my words. And Mr. XS says, I think the people who said it was a fluke World Series appearance were right. Buckle up. We're not getting back for a long time with Cashman as the GM. And now Perry Anthony says, Cole has to pitch twice in four games. No choice. That will not happen. That will not happen. The Yankees aren't going to do that. So, it is what it is. Uh, fans obviously upset. And a lot of Dodgers fans talking smack in the uh, chat. I don't blame you. I wish you'd have a little bit more more clash, uh, class. But that's, uh, you know, that's wow. probably be doing the same thing, to be honest. So, All right. Let's preview tomorrow, which could be the Yankees' final game of the season. Uh, Dodgers are lining up the bullpen game. Yankees are going to start Luis Heal. A bunch of qu people have questioned whether or not 
you should start a rookie in a big spot like this. I genuinely can't wait to see what the kid's made of. I think he's going to feed off the crowd. It would not surprise me if he pitched well. Also wouldn't surprise me if this team rolls over and plays dead like they did against the Astros in 2022. There's going to be chatter. You've already heard it about Cashman's job, about Boone's job. Nothing's going to change. They might throw a suitcase full of $100 bills at Juan Soto, but he's probably going to sign elsewhere. Even if the Yankees do give him 50, 60 million, it's not going to make them better than the Dude, Dodgers. why are they laying down like that? Everyone <sighs> will be a year older on this team. And oh my God. They're not going to have as much money to do anything else to fix the roster. You're not going to go out and get Corbin Burns or Alex Bregman. It's just not going to happen. You're going to have Ben Rice at first base. You're going to have Jason Dominguez in center. Judge is going to slide over either to right if Soto leaves or to left if Soto resigns. They'll keep Jazz Chisholm. He'll probably move to second base. They might get a third baseman. Oh, I'm so bad. They might call up somebody. I wouldn't expect much else. I don't see him signing a big starting pitcher. You might see him try and add bullpen help, but bullpen arms break down all the time. Who knows? <clears throat> I don't think there's a way to fix this team to get them better than the Dodgers by now. Wow, year. there's really two. Uh, prepare yourself for a tough and disappointing offseason. All right, let's go. Let's get it going. Dodgers jumped out to an early lead in the first inning. Four pitch walk to show a fifth straight game with a home run for Freddie Freeman. I think it's a lock at this point that Freddie Freeman is the MVP. Bottom one, Yankees also put the leadoff man on base. He's pretty good at bat. He got screwed later in the game, but you know he's been pretty much automatic getting on in the first inning. If the Yankees do bring him back, which I do not think they will, um, I think he should stay in the leadoff spot. Very nice hand for Juan Soto. What could be his last series at Yankee Stadium. And it was their first time seeing him at home in pinstripes. Oh, and all I did. Winning home run. He smoked one in the first inning, but it got run down by Teoscar Hernandez. He's just laying there on the ground on his back. Just better players all around. Pretty nice him at home in pinstripes since he hit that pennant winning home run. He smoked one in the first inning, but it got run down by Teoscar Hernandez. I tell you, the Dodgers just take better routes to the ball in the outfield. They're just better players all around. Pretty nice ovation for Aaron Judge, too. Heard the MVP chats early, but he struck out, and he went up. Over three. He's come up with a runner on base in 10 of his 12 first inning at-bats this postseason. And in those at-bats, 0 for 10, seven strikeouts. This is after he was a complete monster during the regular season in the first inning. I believe he set the American League record for home runs in the first inning, or at least came close. Both pitchers had a... This helicopter I'm listening to. What is this? Bueller's was much better. Guys, stop texting me during my show. Um, Dodgers scored again in the third inning. They left the bases loaded. Nice job by Mark Leiter, I thought. Uh, you know, came in in a tough spot, and then he battled. The reload, wow. Well. Dodgers tried to squeeze in the fourth inning. Nice job by both Leiter and Trevino to get the runner at home. Cortez came in, got a big strikeout of Otani. We'll grab a snack, I'll be right back. Who's basically yeah. swinging with one arm right now. Would not shock me if they gave him the day off tomorrow, because then he would have two days off before you go back to L.A. Uh, actually, no. They, you know, he would just have another day off, and then they get you got one more. You'd have one more shot at Yankee Stadium. Um, maybe they won't give him the day off. Now that I think about it. Uh, anyway, uh, Judge in the fourth led off with a routine fly ball to left field, and here was John Sterling's call. And the breaking ball, there it goes, deep left center field, and K. Oscar is there to make the catch. Oh, did I get fooled on that? Next batter was John Carlos Stanton. He finally picked up the first hit of the game for the Yankees. He tried to score on the single by Volpe, but Rojas got him thrown out. Another really bad send by Rojas. Stanton was not yet at third base. I want to repeat this. When Teoscar Hernandez was fielding the ball, that is unexcusable. John Carlos Stanton can hit the ball a mile. He is incredibly clutch, but he cannot run, and he is never going to be able to run again. It was a stupid play, it was a risky play, and it burned us. Rojas, and look, I don't often call for people's jobs, maybe three or four times a year, 
Rojas needs to be fired. Rojas, after this season, absolutely cannot bring him back. I know the audit is ongoing this season. I, I hope the audit finds that Rojas needs to go. Got to go. Fire him. Terminate him. Whatever. Launch him into the sun. Uh, top five, Freddie Freeman, who also cannot run at all, hit a slow, soft ground ball to third base. Jazz Chisholm tried to rush it and booted it. More sloppy baseball. More sloppy baseball. Top six, Jake Cousins. Oh, um, uh, hit Otani. What? No. Who do you hit with a? Who do you hit with a pitch? He hit somebody with a pitch. Uh, they scored uh, uh, on a base hit up the middle. Just standard baseball. Something the Yankees don't do well. I'm gonna find out who he hit by a pitch because I, I wrote down Otani, but I don't think it was Otani. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Uh, it, oh, it was Lux. It was Lux. He hit Gavin Lux. Um, with a pitch. Lux stole second base, ah! scored on a base hit. You know, just routine baseball. Something the Yankees don't do well. Austin Wells came in to pinch hit for Trevino in the seventh. Struck out looking, I told you. Too close to take. Too close to take. Torres also struck out looking on a pitch above the strike zone. But first pitch of the at-bat was crushable. And he took it for a gimme strike. I can't imagine Freddie Freeman or Mookie Betts or Shohei. Holy no aim, bro. Letting that pitch pass. Right. The Yankees... They've been, they've had this pounded into their, into their psyche. Walks, walks are as good as home runs. Walk, 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 walk. And now they all take way too many pitches and take way too many close pitches. Dodgers hang on to win, and they lead. What the is this camo? Three nothing. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. If you ain't first, you're last. Michael Anderson with the Super Chat says, Do you think Booney is loading up those highlights of the 03 comeback from Boston to motivate the boys? Don't get me started on that. That's what the Yankees looked at in, 03, in uh, 22 when they were behind 03 to the Astros. They were watching highlights of the Red Sox. One of the many things that this team has done wrong. And Michael Rubio says, Fat Joe Curse. Fat Joe Curse. Derek Curse. Fuck! Well, guys, um, it's uh, oh. been a it's been a good year. Yankees got number one seed, won a couple of playoff series, but the end of the line is in sight. And I think it's probably going to happen either tomorrow or in Game Five. I can't see the Yankees winning two in a row. I don't know if I can see them winning one in a row. I, I honestly, just knowing the heart of this team, I expect them to roll over wow. and play dead tomorrow. So. <laughs> Wear black, prepare for a funeral. Uh, 2300 in the chat. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on all, you know, all the, all the stuff. Um, take a few comments here. Uh, Adam Lamparello says, Judge, we hold that you are guilty. Melon Lord says it's been a shitty year. I disagree. It has not been a shitty year. It's not, it's, we haven't reached our goal. We're not going to be world champs, but we still had some good moments. Juan Soto had some good moments. Judge at 58 regular season home runs. Nothing in the postseason. We beat beat out the Orioles. So, anyway, we're going to call it a night. I'll see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and give us a subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel. We're also on all your favorite podcast platforms and so. Number 28th, Yanks lose. They're down 3 0. Yankees play bad. Let's recap the sad. How much more can we take? The lost column grows. Try to enjoy the show. It's time to talk and yank. Hello and welcome to Talking Yanks. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you very much. Yanks are down 3 0 in the World Series. <clears throat> I don't think any team's ever come back from down 3-0. And I don't think any team... Dude, I don't know where I shot from. ...when they show this little fight.
Dodgers are just beating them in every aspect of the sport of baseball. <clears throat> and stinks. Jim, Davis, everyone tuning in. Thanks. Subscribe. Might be one of the last regular or episodes of the 2024 season. Uh, yeah, pretty brutal. I mean, another four to two game without any four to two. Some irony for what we talk about through the season. Um, yeah, the offense just has nothing. Um, today became a a comedy show of fastballs. Like it, it felt like. I mean. I guess it. I got the numbers. I guess it was more so judged that these early games kind of felt like breaking balls. <laughs> like yeah, uh, but today, uh, they got fastballs over the plate that they weren't even. It's not like they were just missing. They were, they're missing, or just taking. Yeah. Yeah. They what? got in this game, fifty-five fastballs in the zone. Guess how many hits they had on those 55 bas fastballs what? in the strike zone? Three. <coughs> One. No, hold on, hold on. Two. Okay. Two. Verdu uh, Rizzo single and Verdugo's home run. So 55 four seam fastballs. I didn't even count sinkers. Right. In the zone. Two hits. It was crazy. It was 24 Dude. taken for a strike. That's bad. That's... <laughs> I want to find out uh, the most... If, the, if that is a lot, like, compared to for this team. <sighs> I don't know. It's never something I've tracked. It seems crazy. It's 24 hittable pitches. You get that would be their season high. Of fastballs in the zone, not swung at. That's the most ever in a single game. The fuck? Okay. 24. Next highest, August... 12, 20 against Kai Bush, mm. Dominic Leone, Stephen Wilson. Damn White Sox. Yeah. Yeah, man. They uh, they have nothing offensively. Um, nothing. It's uh, at some point you have to give some credit to the Dodgers pitching because this is how does he know? This is how they ended the Padres season. Um, you know, uh, I'm Mets, emoting right now. Actually, a lot of what the hell? Um, I don't even know you can Padres emote mid. Set the consecutive scoreless inning streak to win that division series, and now the Yankees. Through the first eight innings of the last two games, they've scored one run. So, like, I don't think I've ever seen less competitive four to two games. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, this one, like, actually, last game, because Rodon gave up the three home runs, and then the bullpen came in and was actually pretty electric. This game, there was those panic innings where it was like, hey, this is about to be six or seven, nothing real quick. Yeah, when Leiter came out, the base is loaded. And then he put first and third, no outs the next inning, and they bailed us out with that squeeze play. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Want to hear another fun stat? Sure. 24 four-seam fastballs taken for a strike is the second highest by a single team this season. So it's bad. 27. Washington Nationals took 27 on May 4th. I mean, it's like they had the Yankees on a yo-yo, man. Like, I, I'm going back through some of the at-bats. Like, I picture Trevino was sitting breaking ball to 
he ends up striking out on. But, like, I wonder if they got breaking balled so hard the first two games that the Yankees were like, hmm, we know what's coming. And they clearly did not. Oh. Oh, dude. It's uh, That's crazy. I mean, we could talk Clark Schmidt. The pitch to Freddie stunk. It's not a good start by him. Nothing matters if that's the offense. Yeah, There's I mean, they scored zero. Like, I know they scored two, but they scored zero. Like, they didn't bring Trinan into this game. Yeah. Like, they treated this as a non-safe situation, because it wasn't. Um, and there's just no, there's no dynamic in the offense. There's no, hmm. there's nothing. No one's doing anything, dude. They all second time through were like, let's take till he gets the first strike. Okay, well, they knew your game plan. You just laid fucking cookies. Yeah. And you took. The Jazz, is, what Jazz and Wells complaining about the zone. Guys, you're about to be down 3-0. Those are strikes and swing. It's a two strike count. The only one was the, the Glaber strike three was pretty tough. That was tough, but still, but yeah. yes. But the other guys, it's like, come on. No, I mean, those, those three were, weren't really even borderline. Um, and yeah, man, I mean, Stanton has two hits. Is the. Oh, fuck. I'm down, bro. Huh? I think I'm done. You're done, you're off? Alright. Yeah, that's a headache. Alright, good night, sir. Feel better. Thank you, thank you. You'll be on tomorrow, maybe, or no? Um, I think so, yeah. I think I will be. I have to save for my midterm, that's it. When's your midterm? Thursday, on Halloween. Hmm. Oh, unfortunately. Well, once it's over, I'm chilling. Uh, OP, OP action, action after? <laughs> You're crazy, bro. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'll bring my setup. Say less. I can bring my setup. You gotta too. Yeah, facts. <laughs> the land action. Land party. How many rooms oh. do you have in that Riverside house? Three. Three. No. What are the other rooms? Storage rooms. Yeah, practically. And what? Two bathrooms or two and a half? Two and a half, two and a half. Damn, bro. Ballin'. Yeah. Not in the like bro. frat parties or something, man. Bro, hell no, bro. Have like the, the UCR frat like hosted at your place. Yeah, alright. That's crazy. Why not? They're, uh, they are a uh, ratchet, bro. Ratchet. Wow, that's Hence racist. the name. That's racist. What? How's that racist? Ratchet? Call him Riverside Ratchet? Dark. I do, though. Yeah, a little, a little bit. 